Hello, everybody. Video here for you today. Beyond Oak Island is a show in which the History Channel and Rick and Marty Lagina get involved with other treasure mysteries. If you missed any of my recaps of The Curse of Oak Island or Beyond Oak Island, there's a link to the playlist in the upper right. Let's get into it. This is the no-cap recap of Season 3, Episode 9, called The Lost Cache of Cornwallis. The episode starts with an angle shot of Oak Island that we rarely see on TV as Rick, Marty, and Maddie talk in the war room about how treasure is often tied into warfare, including the Beyond Oak Island episodes on Poverty Island, which is the Civil War, and Pancho Villa, which is the Mexican Revolution, and also theories about treasure on Oak Island being brought to North America to fund the American Revolution. Which leads Marty, no, which leads to Maddie bringing up General George Cornwallis and the theory that he may have hidden treasure right before surrendering at Yorktown, leading to an end in the hostilities and peace negotiations between America and England. This was after six years of war in which the American forces supported by France finally turned the tide against the English. Cornwallis had laid siege to the nearby towns and had heavily looted them. Documented searches in and around Yorktown for more than a century have failed to recover any of the believed buried caches of the Cornwallis buried treasure. Firefighter, paramedic, and treasure hunter and native Virginian Matt Howell joins via video conferencing to tell the guys on Oak Island what he knows about it. He has been actively searching for over 10 years and has found a lot of artifacts. He found a news article from 1909 in which a man claimed to know the spot where Cornwallis hid a copper chest that contained 1 million in gold bullion and 500,000 in diamonds worth $65 million today. He said it was buried by the British on the banks of the York River. Since many searches have been conducted in Yorktown already, Matt wants to search a tributary of the York called the Pamunkey River, where a town that Cornwallis Wallace pillaged and burned was the last known location of the general before he began building defenses in Yorktown itself. Since Rick and Marty have their hands full with Oak Island in the summer of 2022, see my Season 10 No Cap Recaps of the Curse of Oak Island via the link in the upper right. Uh, Matty will recruit metal detection expert and beyond Oak Island veteran Nicolina Bohr to join him in Mechanicsburg, Virginia. The river could have shifted as much as 100 feet, which means that dry land or shallow water back then could be deep water today and vice versa. Matt believes that Cornwallis wouldn't have used a marker, but would have buried treasure near a landmark like a pier or dock. The town is not visible today, but Matt's team has found several artifacts they believe to be from that town. Today's task is to find concrete evidence of the town, like remnants of a structure or a concentration of household items. Nicolina and a member of Matt's team metal detect in the shallow sea, as shown here, while Matt and another member of his team will dive in deeper water. Matt has almost zero visibility in a strong current, but manages to find this piece of a colonial shoe buckle. The ornateness suggests it would have belonged to an officer or higher ranking member of society. He also found two musket balls. They also found this button that says London on it. They think all of the items together mean that there was a town here. Nothing was found in the shallow water, which rules out that area. The group reconvenes the next day to search a little further upriver, where Matt finds a piece of iron they think was used to hold pier timbers together, and also a handmade brick, which would be of the target time frame. 
Matt also saw big flat timbers and decking underwater. Later, Matt is searching again and calls to the surface to say that he is climbing over bricks and that there are bricks everywhere. He brings up several items, including this decorative piece of a bridle or saddle, this pewter spoon, which they suspect was purposefully bent over and cut in order to ruin it, and this Liberty Cap coin, thought to be one of the first American coins minted after the Revolution, which would be 1793 to 1796. Three days later, on Oak Island, Matt again joins the guys in the war room for an update. They have found what they think is the entire dock site of the town and mapped it as well. They have to report everything they find to the Commonwealth of Virginia and believe they will be allowed to return for more exploration and detailed mapping. Season 4 of Beyond Oak Island has not been announced by the History Channel yet, uh, but I'll continue catching up uh, recapping Season 3 of Beyond Oak Island episodes. I'll also be doing at least two videos recapping The Curse of Oak Island Seasons 1 through 8 since I just started these recaps in Season 8 of The Curse of Oak Island. Once again, the Oak Island playlist link is in the upper right. Once again, also, I am Coach Steve Money. I'm a Ramsey Solutions Certified Financial Coach. And if you've got money problems or you just want to make sure you're on the right track, you can schedule a free financial coaching consultation slash assessment with me at calendly.com slash Coach Steve Money. The link is also on the right side of my YouTube banner on my front page. And... You can email me about coaching or anything on my YouTube channel. Uh, send that to CoachSteveMoney at gmail.com. Channel donations can go to paypal.me slash CoachSteveMoney. You can add me on the gram at CoachSteveMoney. And, of course, this YouTube channel is youtube.com slash CoachSteveMoney. Thank you so very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment.